Hi, I'm Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com, and today we're going to do a video review on a brand new one piece leather suit from Alpine Stars for 2010 and beyond. This is the Tech 1R one piece leather suit. If you can't tell by my voice, I am stoked right now. I got to tell you, I've been all through this suit, taken it apart, put it back together. I've had it on a couple of times. In my opinion, all things considered, price, value, protection, comfort, features, benefits, best one piece suit Alpine Stars has ever made, bar none. I've seen them all, worn them all, I've ridden in a bunch. This is it. I have to have one of these. Total home run. This is replacing the MX1. That was a great suit. I've got one of those. Love that suit. I loved it from day one. This is such an improvement over that, and it's still at the same price point. It's just amazing. This thing really, in many ways, reminds me of the race replica. The place where it differs the most from the race replica is the price tag at retail is like $1,100 less. So the value for this thing is just amazing. Let's start off with sizing. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, about 200 pounds with a mildly athletic build. I'm wearing a size 54 euro, which would be a 44 US. Underneath the suit, I have on a cycle skin undersuit and my full coverage Knox contour back protector. The Alpine Star chest armor is still in the suit. It's kind of give you a nice 360 and I'll even get into riding position to show you how well this thing moves. Here's front. Side, and if you want to follow me with the camera, Josh, I'm going to kind of squat down into a riding position. Kind of reach out like we're going for the controls. Remember, this suit is brand new out of the box, right? Never been ridden in, not broken in any way, shape, or form. Back view, standing. I'm going to go down into the riding position and watch that giant stretch panel work. That big V-shaped stretch panel. And then back to front. The big V-shaped stretch panel on the back of the suit is really key to the comfort this thing offers. It allows this thing to move on your body in an amazing manner. When you get a high-end suit like this, one of the things that really separates the entry level from the high end is how much energy the suit takes when you're kind of fighting it. You know, How much additional energy does it take to wear the suit and ride on the bike? So you get a high-end suit like this with great motion panels that amount of energy that's expended fighting the suit is reduced, okay? Plus you pick up the additional protection features. Let's kind of try and zoom in, Josh, and show them the perforated panel, get as close as you can. This whole area here in black is all perfed. Got perforation here above the knees. Moving back to the top of the suit, Kevlar-based stretch material here, free flowing for air. YKK, self-locking zippers. We've got a new comfort liner. It's like a 3D liner. That's a hot spot there on the wrist. That maintains an air pocket between your body and the suit. When it's hot out, it works to keep you cool. When it's cool out, it works to keep you warm. Perforated panel here in the bicep area. Embroidered Alpine Star logo. Race rep style hard outer shoulder protector with vents that are built into it. I'm going to show you those if you want to tighten up, Josh. Second part of the video, we have the suit pulled apart and we show you the holes that are, are bored into the, the protector underneath so the air can flow in through those vents. Obviously more perforation right here. If you want to come down to the knee area, Josh, I'd like to point this out. This is the race rep style knee. Okay. We have the hard outer protector. There's a vent built into it. This gray panel you see here is kind of a rubberized material that will interact with the gas tank on the motorcycle and it helps grip the tank so you don't have to squeeze quite as hard with your legs. Once again, using less energy to ride the motorcycle. If you pan down, Josh, show them the perforation here in the lower legs. I'm going to turn around. All Kevlar based stretch material here. Okay, it's the good stuff. And there is also, if you have large calves and need to use it, there's a calf expansion panel. Zip that open and it gives you about another inch in that area if you need that. Personally, I don't. Once again, the fit on this. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, roughly 
200 pounds, mildly athletic build. I'm wearing underneath this suit a large race Knox Contour back protector. It's a pretty thick back protector. It's my protector of choice most often. I'm wearing a size 54 Euro, 44 US, and this thing is money all the way. It would require very little break in for me to get this suit exactly where I need it. Stay tuned for part two of this. I'm going to pull this thing apart and show you all the technology from the inside out of what I truly believe is the best one piece suit, all things considered, Alpine Star has ever built. Okay, here we go with the brand new Alpine Star's Tech 1R one piece suit from the inside out. First up, we've got the elbow and forearm armor. Alpine Star's hard outer GP shell, energy absorbing foam on the inside, nice coverage area. They've been using this piece for a while, great stuff. They're switching gears a little bit here in the knee area for the Tech 1R, and they're using a nice piece from a company called B Tech. It's got an Alpine Star logo on it. We've got a medium density outer shell and energy absorbing foam on the inside. Note, nice knee cup here. Very nice knee cup, good coverage area, and this is going to work in concert with some of the other stuff they have in the knee of the Tech 1R. So remember that as we get to it. The race hump on the Tech 1R is ventilated at the top. Okay, we're going to show you the perf on the back of the suit, right? You're going to talk. The air drives in here, pushes in through here. The back of that suit is basically a little mesh panel here that kind of covers this, so the air drives right in. It's a great way to bring air into and let air come out of a suit is through a perforated hump. The chest armor that comes in the Tech 1R is just this kind of medium density perforated foam. Remember, with Alpine Stars, it's a very affordable upgrade to use their bionic chest armor. Uses a hard outer GP shell and some energy absorbing foam on the back side. With the all new Tech 1R suit, we're seeing a different liner design for Alpine Stars. There's a lot more technology in this liner, okay? First thing I'll point out is the obvious part. You're going to notice we only have half the leg as part of the removable liner, okay? What they've done is the remainder of the leg, the lower leg, stays in the suit, okay? You can see that there is a zipper here that's kind of hidden by the fabric on both sides. A little more challenging to get out, but at the end of the day, it's not that hard. If you want to zoom in here a little bit, Josh, this is the back of the liner, and you'll note that it's in like a 3D fabric. The idea here is to create an air pocket that's between the suit and your body. That air pocket can help keep you cool when it's hot out, and it can help keep you insulated and warmer when it's cool out by maintaining that pocket air between your body and the suit. I'd also like to note that you'll see here we have three individual metal snaps for the Alpine Stars specific back protectors. You can put those in here. You can choose high, medium, and low in terms of where you want the back protector to ride on your body. Okay, and they've got kind of a little chart here. Cool logo on the back. Got a storage pocket here inside the liner. Same on both sides. There's a little armor for the outside of your arm. Okay, kind of the, the bicep area here. They've got some nice hip and quad armor, kind of a medium density foam that's sewn into the liner as well. Now let's get to the shell itself. Let's start with the back. Josh, go ahead and zoom in nice and tight if you would. What I would like to point out here is the race hump area. Tons of perforation here at the top. Remember, you're in a tuck, air is driving in, it's then forced into the suit, works to keep it cool and comfortable. Some additional perforation here down the back side of the race hump. This detail here, in between the layers of leather, we have some high density foam sewn in there. It's great because it helps to protect the shoulder blades, kind of a vulnerable spot. The thing I really want you to focus on now is the size and shape of this motion panel in the back. You can clearly see it kind of starts up here in the shoulders, comes all the way down the sides of the suit, under the armpit, bends around across the waist, and then back up the other side. Basically the same design that we saw in the race replica suit. This allows the suit to really move well on your body. When you get into a high-end race suit, it's not that it's just perhaps more protective than some of its more affordable counterparts. It's easier to move and it takes less energy to ride the motorcycle when you wear a high-end suit with a lot of motion panels. So it basically allows you to spend that energy riding the motorcycle better. Okay, so think premium suits, comfort, mobility, and protection. Okay? 
tailbone pad sewn into the suit here. There's kind of a break in it. Once again, it's kind of a higher density foam. We've got an embroidered Alpine Star logo here, really subtle. Lots of perforation here, upper leg, little perf above the knee. Let's come down to the stretch panel here, above the knee, large stretch panel. Here we have basically a race replica style outer knee protector. This knee on this suit is bolstered in every way, shape, and form you can imagine. Tons of protection built into this area. I love what they did. This also has the gripping material on the inside of the knee that's going to help work to grip the motorcycle tank even better. Once again, you can use less effort riding. You don't have to squeeze as hard with your legs because this kind of grips. It's going to help you ride a little bit better. See the knee puck here? They've kind of trimmed around that Velcro patch with a piece of leather. That's a little different. Lots of perforation down here. Some of the perf is carried over to the back of the leg. You'll see here we have a calf expansion panel. It's done underneath the Kepper Tech. Okay, if you have larger calves, you can open that up and get yourself some more room. All the stretch material here is the good Kevlar-based stuff. Now, here is the liner inside the lower leg. Once again, it's that 3D style liner. It maintains that air pocket between your body and the suit. It's going to work to keep you cool when it's hot out, and it's going to work to keep you warmer when it's cool out. In between the multiple layers of leather here and the knee armor that goes in the Tech 1R, there is another nice piece of energy absorbing foam, okay? So this knee and shin area is fortified about as much as I've ever seen it done. Great job there for sure. Front of the suit. Here is our shoulder armor. Once again, race replica style. We've got some vents built into it, some perforation here. I'll show you what the inside of the shoulder armor looks like. Basically what they've done here is they have all the energy absorbing foam stitched on the leather on the inside of the suit. You can clearly see Josh tighten up. It's all perforated. Okay, air channels built into that. That works in concert with the vents that are built into that shoulder protector to help bring air into the suit. Maximum cooling. Big perforated panels here. All down the front of the suit. You can see those massive stretch panels kind of carrying over, wrapping around to the front of the suit. Down the arms, all Kevlar based, Kevlar Tech style stretch material. You've got YKK self locking zippers down here. Perforated panel up here in the bicep. Alpine Stars logo. We've got a motion panel here in the elbow and forearm. I'd also like to note that the elbow and forearm armor goes into an armor pocket so it holds it in place nicely. Lots of leather between your body and the ground here too. They've really fortified that area nicely. The cuff of the suit, another hot spot, also uses that 3D liner to maintain that pocket of air for cooling and or warming capabilities. All in all, what do we think of the Tech 1R one-piece leather suit from Alpine Stars? We think this, is, this one's going to be replacing the MX-1. This is a massive step up from the MX-1. Tons of new technology, same great quality. Think of this as a, God, I don't want to call it a baby race replica because this is really, really close to the race replica suit. Let's call this one every man's race replica suit. I think this is a great suit. I'm stoked. I can't wait to ride in it. I think Alpine Stars has hit a home run with the Tech 1R suit.